We're in the lower clear water right outside of Lewiston. It's early October. It's catch and release steelhead time. Best time of the year. We're with Kyle Jones. Keep watching. This is going to be a fun show. Now you gotta catch it. It's almost out of line. Well, Kyle, we're, we're side drifting, right? Yeah, we're side drifting here. And got a big old steel, a big steel head on here. These fish this time of year are just amazing. So the side drifting technique, is that what we're going to be doing all day? Yeah, we're just going to fish light lead, super light lead in this low water with small baits of eggs. And uh, the grabs are pretty electric. There's not any weight on there and we're just able to, it's all fish. And these, there's a bunch. We're getting a great bee run this year. Oh, and, these dudes. Uh, Look at that. Beautiful oh. shape. That, that green one's easier to use. This is a good one. He's a hog. He's a fatty. But this one is a perfect example of why you come to the Clearwater. Perfect example. Big, beautiful. See if we can get Rob to get him in the net here. There we go. Perfect. Look at that beautiful Whoa. fish. That's a nice fish. Yes, it is. Good one. And we've got hatchery and natives in here. We're we releasing do. everything. We're releasing everything right now, but this is a big wild fish. Just absolutely big, beautiful. Looks like a female. Goes out of there, and we'll get her up here for a quick picture, and then we'll send her back on her way. Because here in Idaho, what's the deal? Um, we can remove, we can pick the fish up for a quick picture, but we just want to be really careful. I try not to hold them over the boat. Just a quick lift above the water in the net and get a, get a shot and then they're back in. But look at that. There's 12 or 13 pounds of Idaho steelhead right there. That's what we're here for. See you later, sweetie. Kyle, can you go through what we're using today for the folks at home? Yeah, so we're just uh, side drifting. Just a small bait of eggs, just a corky, maybe a little yarn ball, and then a real long leader, I time my whole wingspan, and then a, a real light little chunk of lead. So that is super light. Yeah, super light. Really just trying to get these to glide along. So you don't, it doesn't need to hit bottom any more than about a couple of times every seven or eight, 10 feet, something like that. They just need to be sort of in the zone. And can you, can you explain a little bit what you mean by side drifting for folks that might be? Yeah, so when we're side drifting, a couple of different names, side drifting, boondoggling, it's uh, when we're all fishing off the same side of the boat, we're trying to be between 90 and 45 degrees off of where we're, where we're bringing our lines through. So we're all bringing our lines, drifting with the rod in hand down through the hole at the same time. Is there an application for this technique for, a, for like a bank angler? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, guys can can drift fish off the bank from a sta from a static point and just kind of work their way down a hole. And um, I've seen guys stand on gravel bars and cast them out and just kind of walk along with them too. Loaded in here. Second drift. Yes. Nice We're job, just Rob. just starting the day off here, man. Yeah. Yeah, we we're fishing bankers hours today. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So, Kyle, you're saying this is one of your favorite fisheries, 
And this is this is world class on the clear water, these fish. Yeah, this is my absolute favorite time of year. We can't keep them, but this is, I mean, they are such a blast. Just the sporting opportunity, They're right? Full of energy. Yeah. Yeah. High catch rates, we usually get quite a few of them. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And I think a lot of people are appreciating the idea that you get to catch these, you have a lot of fun. Weather's nice. Weather's nice, great fight. And sport fishing, a lot of it's about getting out here, not necessarily a harvest every time, you know? Yep. <laughs> There's a little bit of a bonus opportunity here as well, right? Yeah, on the, on the weekends right now, we're on Thursday through Sunday, we're able to keep fall Chinook as well, and then also coho. So we've got some pretty, we've, we've got some keep opportunities if we, if we find them. We're, we're really kind of focusing on steelhead today down here in this lower river, we're gonna target these fish, but uh, we probably will bump into some Chinook too. Not a bad bonus, and that's kind of a new oh. thing. That fall Chinook's kind of a new thing, isn't it? It is, yeah, it, it's only been the last couple of years. This is actually a king. Yep. Yep, this is the fall, this is what we're talking about right here. There we go. <laughs> Speak of the opportunity, of the huh? And that one's in pretty good shape, too. So we can bonk that. We're gonna bonk that one. The rule is one. One wild fish per person per day and up to two hatchery fish. So okay. three fish total and then unlimited jacks. That one's coming with us. That's gonna smoke up good. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, but on that lighter gear. That's a, that's a kick, these teams. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish right there. They pull. Seven or eight pound Chinook, beautiful. Should we reset this drift, man? That's, yeah. There might be more fish in there. Yeah, let's uh, definitely get after them. There. They're rolling in there. <laughs> we'll be back right after the break. Now that lunch is over, I mean, what do you got for us now for the rest of the day? We're gonna kind of work our way back down to the launch side drifting. Okay. Um, there's a couple holes that, that we hit that we know there's some fish in that I think will have a little bit of a break. And then this spot right here, we've watched a bunch of fish roll in here. So maybe okay. we can uh, get a couple yanked out. Right, yeah. same, same techniques. Yeah, we're gonna side drift. We're gonna change our lead up a little bit. And this, you know, we gotta, when you're drifting, you know, you gotta be changing your lead up depending on what holes you're at. And okay. that kind of stuff just comes from fishing and, and knowing, knowing how to, knowing what you're doing. Because we're trying to keep her down the bottom. Yeah, we want it, we want it to be pretty near the bottom. We don't sure. need them dredging, but gotcha. we want them down near. Oh, wow, these are, like you said, feisty fish. That's a shit. Woohoo! Another keeper. Yeah! Look at that. <laughs> No fun, is it, Hillary? No fun at all. <laughs> An opposite world. I love that. I love that Ooh. take. Almost no weight coming through. You just kind of have to trust that it's down there, and then whoop. No mistake. It is. It's like the anticipation. You're just watching it float. He smacked that one. Do I want to keep my pole in line with the line, or can yeah. I pull back on it? Or? You can either or. It's not going to change much of it. Good nice fight. Fresh. He's bright. Yeah, for... these are these are good fish. Oh yeah, that'd be good fish. The window says it's good. 
right? Yeah. Nice job. Thank you, Kyle Jones. Thank you. Way to make it count, Hillary. Sometimes you can count on me, fellas. Fish on? Oh, got a fish, got on. fish on. Oh. What you want there? A little shrimp? A little jack or trout? Trout? Northwest Fishing Reports. <laughs> Home of the giant Chinook King Salmon. That's a uh, rainbow trout, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's actually a coho. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, we. Coho! Coho, little boy? Yeah, that's Coho. Little ho. Coho. Want it? Let him get bigger. We can keep it. No, we're good. You okay. want him. Is it going to get bigger? No, it ain't going to Oh, they don't get bigger? Eat it. Uh -uh. Oh, we'll eat it then. Okay. I didn't know what they were. We'll need to hang it. So. World record whitefish here on the Clearwater. <laughs> I'm gonna measure this because I don't know what the state catch and release record is for whitefish, but I'm gonna measure it anyway. Kyle thinks this sucker is, uh, for the state of Idaho, that's uh, world class. And Hillary, once again, does something amazing on the Northwest Fishing Reports. I'm serious, <laughs> I think this would be hilarious. Like save 20 feet of line like they do in the... No. <laughs> the size Hillary. <laughs> and you can get this epic whitefish experience with Jones Sport Fishing. Just check this out their website. My arm. <laughs> <laughs> do you offer whitefish trips? Now. Did I do? Now we do. <laughs> hey, buddy. Come on. Oops. Swimming this way. There he goes. Woohoo! Every got one of every guy's favorite holes. Oh my goodness! Get the bee out of my face. Oh, he's coming up on the boat. The cool thing is, we don't know what it is yet. Oh boy, he's up top. <laughs> we got jump out. He came here, it looked like he, that's where he was going. Oh jeez! There he goes again. He's not happy. Try not to reel when the, if it's singing out. Okay. Yeah, it looked like he was gonna jump there for a minute. Oh, here we are. Nice big spill. Oh! Got him. Nice job. Woo. Thank Woo. you. Woohoo! Look at that toad. Oh. The first steely enter. That is a toad. This is what you can expect when you come to the clear water. Holy cow. This is what you can expect when you come to the clear water, guys. Big, big steelhead. Look at that. I can't even get two hands around his around his caudal peduncle there. Beautiful fish. This one's a hatchery fish, so in a Another couple weeks, we'll be able to keep this one. But today, it's going back. Oh, that's a hog. Look at that hog. Wow. Look at that beauty. Oh, boy. 34, 35 inches. All right, we'll send it Gorgeous. back. Bye right, bye, buddy. See you, partner. Woohoo! Nice job. Steelheads, man. <laughs> that's awesome. John, I think you're on a hot streak. When you're high, you're hot. <laughs> when you're hot, you're hot. Good touch. Oh. 
Oh, nice nice job. Not there. What we do know is that it's a big clear water fish. My well, guess is steel. We can find out though. You can work your way back here. Yeah. That way. Yeah, he's on do this it, side. But it's tough to net over that way. <laughs> there he goes the other side. Oh yeah. Ooh, king. That's a nice king. Yeah. I think it's a 60 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> it is if you want it to be. <laughs> Nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. Nice job. Nice. Yeah, you don't have a you don't have a wild chinook, do you? Nope. Okay. Nope. Look at this. Woohoo! Chinook. They're in good shape down here. Chinooky. Chinooky, Chinooky. Night night. Night night, sweet. Hey, how cool is that? Big steelhead one drift. And an awesome Chinook the next. Same spot, same gear. Same fisherman. Yup. Same, same. And that one's going home with us. Look at that nice looking fish. Oops. Wild Oops. salmon. Come on, Hillary. I think I got a steelhead on here. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jumper. Woo! <laughs> awesome. So keep the rod in the water. Yeah, if he goes under, just keep Orville right up, walking right around the mouth. Keep walking right around the front. There you go. <laughs> Wow. Nice. Try to slide over. Got a nice job. Another arrow. Cool. All right. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Clearwater still steelhead is Isn't that cool? crazy cool. It's, at almost, it's 85 degrees, sun's out, we're catching steelhead in the beginning of October. Yeah, steelhead, Chinook, beautiful weather. Boom, that's yeah. a dime. Nice. Gosh, that's beautiful. Thanks for playing, partner. Live another day. Yep. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very cool, Kyle. Love it. Yeah. Whoa. Been near the head. Steelhead! Steelhead! Woo! Cat hole. Nice. So this one is most likely a snake river fish. Uh, they come up into the clear water all the time for a cold water refuge. These lower few miles can have all sorts of see that smaller fish, A run style steelhead. Really common to the snake, Grand Ronde, clear water, or snake, Grand Ronde, and the salmon. But nice fish. Any steelhead's a good one. Nice. Yeah, here we go. Pretty good fish. Job, Send him Thanks, back. Thanks, buddy. Nice. Another awesome day, Kyle. Yeah, man. Yeah, killer. Fun. It's so great to get out here. Yeah. Your home waters. Yep. Yeah, this is home. 
It's always good to see you. Too. You too, man. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> Catching steelhead. The weather's beautiful. Doesn't get much better. We caught a few salmon on this we catch did. and release. We did. We got a couple so. nice ones. Yeah. We did. We set out to catch and release some steelhead, and we got some salmon too. So we're uh, we're living high on the hog today. Yeah, it's a neat deal. If guys want to go fishing with you, how do they get a hold of you? So the best way to get a hold of us is uh, get on our website. That's jonesportfishing.com. Also, we're all over social media at, at jonesportfishing. That's on Instagram, Facebook, even TikTok. And then we uh, we fish here on the Clearwater, we fish the Columbia, and then we also fish the Snake River in Southeast Idaho around American Falls. All of them are awesome places to fish and we'd love to get you guys out. Everybody, thanks for watching. For Northwest Fishery Imports, I'm Rob Holman. We'll see you on the water. With you. That is a John too good. <laughs> John. You do it, you do it. You got it. Good job. Let mine out. We'll be back right after this. right after the break with more fishing reports. I'm at 65 feet. Ooh. That's what I want to show off. It's realistic. Uh, we'll start doing this here. Middle of September. Uh, that'll work good. Can you tune in your other voice? <laughs> You're going to do both two and dynamite. We'll be back right after this. Messages. <laughs> we'll be back after this message from the general store. <laughs> we'll be back right after the break. <laughs> I can't do it. You do it. <laughs>